Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Raid Series Episode 17. Today, um, first of all, I'd like to talk about some of the changes that have been happening. Um, you can now no longer stack backpacks in Raid, but luckily you can still stack them like this in your hideout, um, which is awesome, simply because of the fact that you'll still be able to um, sort all of this out. So, people have been um, really disliking this. I don't really care. Um, I feel like BSG should basically just make the game like they want it to be. And lately it's been too much of a um, PvP simulator anyway. So I don't, I don't necessarily find this annoying at all. It is a little bit of a shame that you can't go into a factory anymore. Um, not factory, labs. And just fill up like a beta backpack over beta backpack and blah, 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 keep going like that and then you're a millionaire but you know um so since the last recording session iskra lunch box i can't speak sorry so since the last recording session these iskra lunch boxes have actually dropped in price quite a bit so i'm going to buy a couple of these just because of the fact that that way i can finish the task so four of these and then delicious beef stew should be somewhere around um, 15k. Oh, wow. Wow. This hasn't been this cheap in a long time. But completing this task will be very beneficial for us. Just because of the fact that we can now kill scabs on woods, stash this. We have a couple of tasks on woods. Um, but I don't want to get into that too much. Other than that, I'll... Um, look through these tasks we have there is nothing too special let's take a look at the hideout because i feel like um i might have activated something to upgrade no not yet but we can construct the laboratory um just for some money i don't want to use any of these because these are found in raid and you do not have the opportunity to actually select which ones you want to use but we can get this Leatherman's tool, the water collector, um, it's a bit expensive for now, the nutrition unit, two relays, we should be able to get that, so let's install that then, um, I kind of feel like I want to, oh, I can't get this because I don't have mechanic level 2, I kind of want to do this water collector, uh, hoses are actually really cheap right now, wow, 42k only. That's nothing. Normally they're like 70. The bolts are kind of expensive, but I'm not too fussed about it right now. Um, because I really need to start upgrading my um, hideout. Just to um, unlock the Bitcoin farm. That's the biggest thing I want to get into as soon as I can. Let's see. Um, we need Intelligence Center level 2 for that. Fence level 2. Okay, so... What we have to do for that, and this is going to sound a little bit strange, we have to get to the task where we have to hand in the car batteries. Because if I do it now, um, this car battery is found in RAID and it's actually automatically going to put that one in. And I don't want that to happen. So we need some of this gunpowder to um, for a task. We don't necessarily need the red gunpowder though. So what I can do and what I'm going to do is this. We need some PM pistols for tasks later on too. I'm just going to sell these to both for 47 500 boom okay so loadout we're going to go into a night raid on customs we have to get the golden zibbo um that's number one and then leave the lighter and we have to get into big red in order to grab the um secure case in the taco director's office so that's what we're going to do right now look at this scav by the way scav is absolutely insane very good gear, actually. Okay, so. We have a choice here. This is not going to be dark. This is not going to be dark. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to scav. What we're going to do on this scav run is run... I kind of want to run customs on the scav run as well. The reason why I want to run customs on this scav run is because of the fact that lately on stream I have been absolutely destroying Rishala 
And if I could get one of these um, Labs cards, they are selling for 215k right now. So a kill on Rashala would be absolutely insane. And as you can see, we have a very good weapon to do it. Maybe we can even get into the dorms, um, see about killing someone or just running some of the stashes. See if we can find the last fuel condition that we need or some morphine. Um, the morphine can be gotten from the, um, what's it called? The Rashala Minions as well as the um, Ground Caches as well. So let's jump into the raid after the intro. Here we are. Let's check what we have. We have loads of ammo. Oh my god. Okay, 29 minutes, so we're about 10 minutes into the raid. Should be alright. Not the best backpack. I kind of want to find some meds as well, but as you can see, this has been looted. Okay, I'm going to assume that that is a scav oh actually that might not be a scav wait the way he walked to the left like he was peeking before actually moving kind of gives me the feeling that that might not have been a scav hmm I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure if that was a scav or not, and if I hit him or not. Don't think it was a scav. Ah, <laughs> shit. Should have just shot him when I had the chance. Did he just fucking run or something or so I definitely didn't kill him. I'ma check this building and then I'm just going to loot regardless. Ah yeah, fuck it. We'll see if we just get shot. We have absolutely no armor, so that is not ideal. I always like to pop these painkillers um, preemptively. That's a day pack, good. Bigger backpack, always nice. some meds right so that's good that's actually nice hold on bp ammo Not going to lie, BP ammo is always nice. Okay, so we have a couple of choices here. What I'm going to do is circle the map. Um, 
the way you normally would on a PMC. And see if we can scavenge some stuff from some of the um, ground caches. Maybe run into a PMC or two. I would be surprised if we actually start already start running um, into PMCs, but you never know. Completely fucking scavenged already. Alright, that's not a problem. That's what happens with scav raids normally anyway. You fucking rat. Gonna check if that's a player scav. Yep. Let's see if he was the one taking all our stuff. Nope. That car med kit is pretty good. Zarya grenade. Better than nothing, I reckon. E card? No. So this. Wait, what? Uh. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to do that anymore, but. Who am I to judge? I wonder why this guy was being so bloody sneaky. Maybe he heard someone or saw someone, but... This stash is almost never looted. That's one thing that's for sure. Oh! Empty! We have a winner. Someone's running the um, loot run for sure. So the angle of this run is definitely just going in and grabbing some stuff we need for tasks. Um, but even if we just bring this SA-58 out, that would actually be a very big win because it's such a good weapon. Um, M80 ammo absolutely destroys and it's very cheap. You can get it from Peacekeeper level 2, I'm pretty sure, for about $2 per round, which is... Which is basically nothing, let's be honest. I don't actually have to use that, but... The milk. Milk sells for a little bit, though. It's not a bad idea to take milk, even for the money. I think you can sell it for like 6 to 12k, somewhere in that range. Maybe even more, because there's a couple of um, barter trades you can do with it too. So, there is a possibility of it being a little bit higher in price. But with the new flea market um, changes, some prices have been really whack. <laughs> so... Luger CGI sells for a little bit. Um, that's probably about 10k. Probably like 500 rubles per round. So, By the way, I discovered a new um, ground stash. Hidden stash. It's right here. I didn't know this was here. And it's not on any of the stash maps either. But that's probably just me being silly, um, not having found that before. But that means in this little construction area, there's three. Which is quite a lot. It's always nice to have another one. You know? These stashes are absolutely terrible. <laughs> like one to two items in every single one of them. Without any good items in them. I always like to be a little bit slow and watch out for what's on the other side of the hill. I think I'm just going to run along this way a little bit. 
See if I can uh, get close to the gas station and listen out for if Rashal is there. Excusez-moi. How the fuck was that first shot not a hit? Right. Oh, hold up. That is a good find. That gives quite a bit more space. Okay, so... Um, now we have a choice to make. Drop that. Put that like this. Take that. Take that. Unfortunately, you can't fit that on there. That's a bit of a shame, really. Don't need that many bandages. Let's not forget to... Uh, oh, actually, we could just wear that. Uh, I'm not sure if I need more Marlboros, but I'll take it anyway. Doesn't sound like Vashal is here. I don't want to risk too much because I don't have a uh, body armor. So, so. Basically, if anyone shoots me with whatever ammo, I'm pretty much uh, fried. Didn't even check which extraction I have. Sniper, roadblock, trailer park, worker shack. Bloody hell. Okay, so Sniper Roadblock is actually one of those I don't know by heart. So, we all tab and we look it up. It even happens to me. I'm not used to scav running. Uh, sniper Roadblock. Oh, right. Okay. I heard something. Right, we're going to go behind the dorms. Let's take a painkiller because it just ran out. No, I'm not going to go behind the dorms. I'm going to push up here because I want to search the stashes. I might die. Because I did hear someone. Or something. Having to play without a headphone. Without headphones is probably the hardest thing about the scab. Because you just can't bloody hear anything going on. Right. We're just going to start moving towards the extraction now. Because that stash was already searched as well. So there's not really much use to... Um, Excuse me, there's not much use to um, just keeping at it, trying to find more stuff there, because there probably isn't.
I kind of want to take this with me. Just because it's pretty good armor. I don't know, dude. I can't. I can't hear enough without the headphones. I'm going to make my way over to the extraction point. It's really tough without headphones. Holy moly. I didn't realize. Because the wind is just taking up so much of your hearing. Like, other than the wind, <laughs> I can't hear that much. Especially because it's so bloody hot. In my room that I've got a fan going as well. fuck is this? This is too fucking risky, but fuck it. Look, it's all it's also very much worth it. Oh, this wasn't a place cap, so he has nothing good in his rig. That's one thing you can always know. Someone has been fucking these scabs up. can actually get out here. Right. Not too bad for a scav run. We got a couple of items we need for tasks later on. So the cowboy hat is actually pretty good. Because that... Oh, that thing is bloody expensive. Or at least it was when I finished that task on my um, streaming account. But other than that, um, the SA-58 is a nice weapon to have... Um, Killed a couple of scabs. We got a couple of backpacks. You are not supposed to fit backpacks into each other anymore. Um, so I I don't know what is actually going on here. I'll keep these BP mags for the task where you have to kill scabs with um with that AK. The bulbs, the keys, all this. Pretty good. I am going to fill this one up with some stuff. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I didn't actually have to empty it. Um, right. Like that. Tetris. Hold on. Does this fit? Nope. This does. Okay. Then we can just throw all this back into the hideout. Um, this Mosin being annoying. Man, man, man. <laughs> this is not going like it should. I'll just sort out the stash and I'll be right back to you guys. Alright, so let we're going to start selling some of this ammo and some of this other stuff. We managed to fit everything in here. Um, we didn't have a single slot to spare, so... <laughs> well, it's alright, but um, it did uh, take us a little bit. We had to pull apart many of our uh, items and whatever let's see if we have some random stuff in here that we can actually still sell i could sell the key card i'm not going to run labs on this anyway at least not in the near future we'll make a 200k profit from that so that is actually pretty good other than that i think i would rather have this 
ibuprofen with me for this next raid. So, 40 M80 rounds plus 30. So, we have 70 M80 rounds. Should be enough to uh, make a little bit of money. Kill some people with that and uh, we'll be good. So we're, re we're really running into problems with the stash pace. So what I'm going to be doing is selling some of these helmets, even though normally I wouldn't. Um, these headsets as well. I just really need some space that you enter. I can probably find again later on. Uh, I don't necessarily think I need this. Sell that. Jaeger will buy the knives. Okay, the backpacks go there. And then... The stash management is one of the hardest things you ever have to do in Tarkov. I wish you could fold this, honestly. Okay, we have some space on top there now. Yeah, I can live with this. Enough space to loot some stuff. We have a night vision on. So we're going to jump into a night raid on customs. Let's see how we go. What's all this? 15,000 rubles from Jaeger. And we've sold some stuff. That's good. Coming back to having a little bit more money to spend later on. Um, we do have enough money now as well for the... Um, Whatever it's called. The... What do you call it? Scav. Lucky Scav Junk Box. But you do have to be level um, 13 for that. Oh, we did get to level 12 finishing that task. So that's good. So one more level. As you can see, we'll be able to grab that. And then uh, that's actually going to be very, very good for the stash right here. Because we are struggling. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wait until it's like um, 11 o'clock here. And then we're going to jump into a night raid on customs. All right, let me explain to you guys a little bit about the loadout. So we're using the Vepa Hunter, but we're using this EKP 802. Reason why is you can see it here. The dot on this is so very small and it doesn't have much electronics going on, which means that through a um, night vision goggles, it doesn't interfere. You get loads of interference if you run something like uh, like this scope which actually has loads of um, electronics going on. It just glitches out and it is all green and you won't be able to see much. So now it is past 10 at night. Um, between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. is when it's absolutely dark in Tarkov. We have loads of stuff with us. We should be all right. So we have a car med kit, some ibuprofen, a splint, some painkillers. We should be looking all right here. Have a little energy drink to level up our uh, metabolism. I can't find my words today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know. We'll be all right. Let's see if we can get these two tasks. Let's see if we can get these two tasks done. Um, if we can do these two tasks in one raid, um, we'll be level 13. If we also find a couple of things we can sell, we'll be able to buy the Lucky Scav Junk Box. And then the last bit of this episode is just going to be me um, sitting here, not talking, and managing the entire stash. So, luckily some people have actually been commenting that me um, doing the Tetris in the stash actually looks kind of therapeutic to them. <laughs> so I'm glad some of you enjoy that kind of content content bro give us content bro you know so <laughs> let's just jump into this raid see what happens hopefully we don't run into someone with a thermal m1a because that's probably going to fuck us up but we should be all right okay um half a minute late spawn that's all right that's all right okay so luckily you guys can actually see you know, when I use night vision. I like running night raids. But the fact is, when it gets a little bit darker, you guys can't really see much. Ah, uh, right. We're already disconnecting. Let's just give it a second. This hasn't happened in a very long time, actually. 
It's strange how this always happens when I'm recording raid series, but then on stream, I'm normally all right. We're looking at three and a half thousand ping. Um, I think it's best to just uh, end the task um, in the task manager and just go back in. Okay. So there, there is going to be some weird... Um, This is actually going to look pretty weird to, for most of you guys, maybe, because um, I've never recorded an episode with this kind of um, night vision. So what we'll have to see, especially with the painkiller being on. It might be a little bit strange, but just let me know in the comment section down below if this raid is unwatchable or whatever. Blind. I'm actually blind. I'm just going to run from this guy. I don't give a fuck. But as you guys can see, there is no interference with this red dot because of the. It's not even that dark, let's be honest. You don't even need night vision, really. We have to get into the dorms on the third floor. So the 303 key is what we're after. And that's basically what I'll be doing anyway. I'll just run up to the three-story dorms, grab the item. Run back because we have to stash it. Oh my god, they're already inside, so this is going to be a fight. It's going to be tough. I'm actually going to search these jackets, because if I find a good key, that wouldn't be too bad. So there's actually a guy on the third floor. That's one. Need that for a task. Some milk. Always welcome. I think this is a weapons case. Well, not a weapons case. It's still nice. Okay. So this is actually where we have to go. Grab the golden zibo. I want to test something real quick. So, 
shouldn't actually be able to do this. But I can, see? Pretty strange. What is that? Oh, that's actually good. Okay, so we now have to bring the golden zibo to the um You know the other area back to the uh, customs building. So I'm going to plant that first and then if we get that done that is when I'm actually going to go into the big red customs building, grab that Tarcone. It's a cold Tarcone director's office packet we have to get for that task. And then we'll just run over to the boiler side from there, um, hitting some of the stashes. And we should actually be good. Which, uh, is this the same? No. Alright, let's see. I wonder what this one looks like. The view is a little bit broader. But I don't necessarily like that too much. I prefer this one. The other one has a broader view, but... Eh. Let's see here. Hey, that's nice. Crackers I don't really care about. I'm just going to let the painkiller run out um, let's drink the uh, hot rod for the metabolism I don't know why but my brain is a little bit foggy today it's a little bit slow stuff like reloading my mags and shit everything that normally just goes without saying it's just a little bit groggy right now It looks a little bit better on your guys' screen on the recording if I don't pre pop the painkiller, so. I'm just going to let it be like this for a second. It's kind of scuffed. How little you can actually see. When you're using a monocular like this, there isn't very much peripheral vision. I haven't heard any good weapons. I've heard a couple of Mosins. Um, other than that, I haven't really heard anything.
We honestly just want to make our way over to that little shack where we have to plant the um, golden zibo. And once we get that done, into the big red. Well, luckily I have the right key with me, eh? Search this real quick. Right. 30 seconds of waiting. Gives us a little second to vape. Samosin. Okay, so luckily this hasn't been looted yet. Maybe we can find a key. Come on, boys. We no longer need that. So I'll take the dollars with me instead. I think I need one more of those. One more Marlboro. I'm actually going to search these. I know it makes a lot of noise, but there's a couple of items we still need to find. Plus some of these items are just worth a lot. I would love to get this um, RPK out. I love that weapon. exactly what's going on, but there seems to be not a lot of loot in these raids. Fcond. There we go. We can drop that cabin key. No need for that, and it's not really worth much anyway. aren't any scavs here which is kind of strange I always like to just run in reach this room first just so that you don't have to make noise later on let's see if we can uh, grab a graphics card from one of these PCs or some power cords. Um, I'll drop these rubles. That's not much anyway. And then... That's about it. If we can grab a uh, graphics card. This is a PSU. I want to take that. So, ooh, kind of difficult to decide what I want to drop here, because this ammo is actually worth quite a bit. The launch box we don't need anymore. Let's just drop that then. We don't necessarily need the launch box anymore because we've already handed them into uh, Skier. It's another one. They are worth a bit. There's a key spawn on this table. I don't know by heart which a hose. Oh shit, let's drop a PSU. <laughs> I 
This inventory management like this is uh, actually hilarious. I'm actually going to drop that mouse in. Like that. That saves us some space. What do we have here? Car key and bolts. Okay. Let's not forget to actually grab the quest item. There it is. Almost forgot. It's really not that dark. I kind of want to move quickly away from my own gunshot. Dead PMC over here. A full mag. I wonder how much that um, night vision we got off that guy would actually fend her for. Because I don't necessarily know how much that's going to be. Okay, people can actually extract there. Let's not worry about that too much. Let's just see if we can find anything really expensive in here. Oh my god. That is pretty big. Um, just going to drop one of these PSUs. I know they're worth quite a bit, but kind of sick and tired of that inventory space not being there. It's a shonka. It's a quest item. Right. There's someone coming and he's using a either a PPSH or something similar. Maybe it was an MP9. That scab is not going to aggro on me. So I can be a little bit sneaky here, and that guy doesn't know I'm here. That's the scav we're hearing behind us. As long as we move slow like this, we shouldn't give away our position. The sniper scav is there, we're just going to have to make a run for it anyway. I'm not sure if the sniper scav is there, he might be on the roof on the other side. I'm not going to worry about that too much though. We want to make our way through construction here. Keep an eye out for that guy we might have just heard. It's 
starting to rain. That's actually not too bad because of the fact that that helps us with not being heard. And at this point, we don't really want anything from this raid other than just getting out. How long is left? 16 minutes. This is one of the longest amounts of time I've actually been in the customs run. That's a scab. Fairly certain. Going to bother looting those. Here we go. Make sure we're top top. Don't want to run into anyone out there. Ammo in the mags, of course. I wonder if I want to loot some of these scabs. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Keep drinking just to level our um, metabolism, by the way. You could always just keep these drinks because they are worth some rubles, but I'm usually not too fussed about keeping drinks for money. Oh, I got disoriented for a second. If I find a car battery or something, that'd be splendid. Don't need the LPS. Fuck that. By the way, what would you guys think would be a good change to the uh, Mosin ammo? In my opinion, it should be at least around a thousand rubles per LPS round. 1500 for a 7 and one And I know that's controversial. But I think that would actually be a good change. Uh. Pineapple juice. So here I want to make my way to the uh, corner of the map, the edge of the map. Reason why, I don't have to worry what's going on on my left now at all. I just fat fingered V. <laughs> Empty. that stash wasn't even looted that was just empty because it was empty because if it was looted it would have said closed before search or someone else must have come along who actually saw that it was already searched and instead of not doing anything he just closed it without searching it again that could be a thing
just like I'm doing now. Right. Home stretch here, boys. It's pretty late in the raid already, so I'm not too fussed about being slow. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone's already out of the raid. These have been searched. Let's not even try to uh, see if the other ones have already been searched. Let's just get to the uh, extraction point. Because we actually have some good shit with us. That's what I thought. Already looted. So here I always like to walk here. Just because if someone comes up on that side or on that side, you actually have somewhere to run to the right. And if you're along the wall, you have nowhere to run. Just a little thing to think about. So we actually have... Someone that extracted before us. Nothing to worry about. Look at that. That was a really good raid. Very long. This is going to be a long episode. Holy. Holy moly. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, I think I... I'm going to reach level 13. But we'll see. We're going to have to see. Um, kill that player, of course. That was good. No, I don't think we're actually going to hit level... 13 from that task we finished alone so no stash management this episode yet that's going to be next episode but i am going to take a look at this task we can finish was it with mechanic no but we can start farming part one so that's actually good so delivery from the past is one that we actually have to finish right away because if we don't then and we die you're just going to lose that item again so we have to find USAC dog tags um, and chemical part one is actually not that hard. But one thing we could do is go into... No, I don't want to do that. I was thinking one thing we could do for the next episode is go into... Um, go into... What is it called? Level 12 still. Go into factory with a pistol. Um, but um, I, I think that's a little bit too risky for my liking. Because I don't want to die. I'm actually going to think a little bit about what I want to take with me to that raid. So, oh man, I could really use another... Um... You know what? These are going to have to go. We'll put in some more items we actually have to have for the hideouts. Awful tasks. Do we have more stuff we can just get rid of? These don't have to be found in raids, so I might as well get rid of them for now. And buy them back when I actually need them. And of course we also have the RPK to worry about. And that's the last fuel condition that we actually need. I'm going to sell this idea cash register key just because of the fact that I will never use that myself. Um, I'm not one to uh, farm that kind of stuff. I'm not going to use M61 bullets either. So um, might be worth it for me just to sell these for 1350 each. Um, same with the idea key. 80k and if we vendor it to therapist it's 60. So that's worth selling on the flea market too. 
The thing is, if you're not about to use a key, you might as well just sell it on the flea market. Like that. I'm not going to be using the PSU anytime soon, but I do need it for a task. I can't vendor this, but I can try and vendor that. Who buys night vision anyway? Does anyone? Eighteen K. I might as well save that for now then. Let's just keep it. Then the M eighty goes back in here like that. Boom boom boom. And this is not too shabby. Fourteen hundred each. Why not? Thirteen fifty. I'm not going to be running any M4s. Five fifty for these. As you can see, if you find ammo nowadays, you're actually chilling. So that's actually worth heaps. You just have to go. Because we have space problems. Hopefully after next episode we actually have enough... Um, everything to... Uh, get rid of some of this... Infantry management issues. Alright, I'm going to go through all of these rigs off the recording and see what I can actually get rid of, just so you guys know. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this episode. It's a lot longer than normal. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy this series, and please like the video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, so make sure to hit that link in the description to come and hang out there. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Eddie, out!